Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. Today, I, I got my first tag. Hello, Lady Jane, over at Lady Jane Books. Tagged me for the school days book tag. I feel like such a little dingbat because I was watching that video. I heard everything and la 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 la. Didn't even realize that my fucking channel was named. <laughs> I was like, like what? it's me. <laughs> I'm all commenting and she's like, I would love to hear you. I was like, did you just tag me? And then I was writing down the freaking questions and then I was like, wait, why is my thing in her description box? Dude, it's like I didn't even realize that was my channel name. I just like, I was just enjoying myself. <laughs> This tag was originally created by Victoria over at What Victoria Read. So the first set of questions involves times of day with school, right? right? First, Belle, tell us about the book that first got you into reading. As a child, I think it was mainly my father, but I know my mom chipped in from time to time, but my dad read to me a lot. Yeah. And it was all those Golden Spine books, um, Richard Scarry and such, you know? And my favorites were The Pokey Little Puppy and There's a Monster at the End of This Book. Break time. Which book have you most recently had to take a break from or DNF? Um, well, recently I've been taking breaks because I just don't want it to end. I'm in a real, like, it just won't let me go. It won't let me go. But there's so much I want to read, but I don't want to be done with it yet. Just, I'm such a fucking contradiction with myself right now. And I'm kind of, I mean, it's okay. Lunchtime. Tell us about your favorite book that features food. I've, I can't, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. There has to be something though, so I'm gonna get back to that one and put it in there. Final Bell, which book have you most recently finished reading? I finally finished the White Trash Zombie series, the final book in that. I thought that I was done, and then I realized I had one more, but wait, there's more. Um, at the risk of spoiling anything for anyone, my reaction, my my feels on it, I, I think that was a good final book. That was a good final book. There's something, there's an element to it that's really fucking adorable. I don't know about the names, but they're really fucking adorable, and the hint for that is the cover. I'm not going to show you. If you want to find out, you can very easily find out what I'm talking about. That's up to you. I'm not going to just throw that out there. I feel like I've already said enough. If you don't know, I'm really finicky with spoilers and I'm trying not to do that to others. <laughs> Homework. What was the last nonfiction book you read and enjoyed? Probably, tr I had a hard time remembering this one because I read a lot of dark shit. So it took me a moment and then I was like, duh, hello, I just read Transcending Flesh with the um, Autistic Readathon. I highly recommend it for all writers, even if like you're a dungeon master, right? Like any kind of world builder, it's worth it. This is a collection of some essays. It's not very long. Give it a read. If anything, it'll help inspire you. Highly, highly recommend that one. Staff room. Tell us about a book that you go to when you need to take a breath. It depends on the mood. <laughs> That's what I have books for rereading, like uh, The Four Agreements and such, so that anytime I need to just not. Or that's when I, you know, dip into psychology or philosophy books or something. <laughs> you know, to just relax. The next part is for subjects. Now we can choose however many of the following we like. It doesn't have to be subjects we liked or anything. So I'm going to go with maths, which is really weird to say, but that one is how do you rate your books? For me, three stars is pretty average. I didn't, I didn't absolutely love it, but I 
didn't hate it. I don't really have many qualms with it, I guess. Like, you did that. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty like, that was a book. I'm not mad that I read that. And then four is like, it would have been five, but there was probably like one thing that I was like, eh, or something. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty easy to please. So for me, it's either eh, or ooh. Often, like I'm everybody's cheerleader. You know what I mean? So it's not very often that I go below three. But if I am going to go below three, then it's probably a one. And why the fuck did I even bother? Like, I'm annoyed. <laughs> There's, there's the okay, okay, okay. Geography. Describe a book that had a strong sense of place or great world building. Nobody ever talks about this series, but I fucking love this series. Enough so that I still haven't finished the series. I'm just saying. Cuts. That's big coming from me. <laughs> I haven't even finished this shit and I started reading this in high school. I was class of 96, fam. That's The Magic Kingdom for Sale by Terry Brooks. Everybody always talks about sh Um, why did I do that to myself? Now I wanna play Katamari. One of my best friends in high school is the one who got me to start reading that. And I, even to this day, I, cause I started rereading it. Um, cause I was like, I need to finish this someday, but now it's been long enough. I don't really remember shit. So I started rereading it like last year or something. And I'm, I still love it. I still freaking love it. Ben is a lawyer, right? And he, you know, some things have happened in his life. You know, it's a bit of a Disney start to the story. Just throwing that out there in case everything makes you cry like I do. Um, like it does me. Um, but uh it's gonna get you. But he sees an ad for this kingdom for sale, a magic kingdom for sale. And what? No. But yeah, and wackiness ensues. But I love it. I love the imagery. I love the characters. I love seeing one of us muggles trying to go there and figure out what the fuck is going on here. You know what I mean? And there's a dragon. <laughs> I mean, Ben also has this moment to be human and just kind of freak out for a sec, okay? Just give him a moment to be a little extra and then he'll get right back to it. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna do is P.E. I'm gonna kind of blend this one with history though. What the fuck is the history one? Oh, history is like name three historical novels or which area of history would you like to learn more about? I'm not really, I'm into history in a sense of being a human being who can't help but be curious and it's good to know so you don't you're not doomed to repeat but otherwise it's a bunch of shit that's probably gonna make me cry or i'm learning about the food in the victorian age and i'm like <sighs> how the fuck did anybody survive that shit the bread alone pe is show us the biggest book on your tbr so this book is my precious the very first used bookstore that I ever worked at, this came in, someone, you know, brought this in with the things to sell to us. And the spine is completely separated. So like, I was able to just bring this book home. And I don't know quite how to, I'm gonna have to like do, I've, I'm thinking about doing a video where I just, go over this book with you. But it's basically a book that's like an encyclopedia, like the knowledge of man from like the 1800s. It's huge, let me grab it. If I fucking can't. Wait, 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 oh God, oh God, oh God. It's so dusty. It's so dusty, it's just been sitting at the top of the bookcase. So here it is. So, oh God. So yeah, I'm trying to think of how to do this gently. It's in two halves. It is in two halves. Oh shit, oh God, no, don't do that. Don't be like that, don't be like that, baby girl, no, no. Let me love you, let me cherish you forever. 
So this is called, somebody actually doodled in one of these first pages. This is the guide to knowledge. <laughs> the guide to knowledge. Edited by W. Pinnock. Pinnock's Catechisms, Grammar of Modern Geography and History. This is volume one. This was printed for the proprietors and published by W.E. Edwards in 1833. Oi. So it's really difficult. Like, I don't, oh, I don't want to, but this is just kind of like everything that they knew at that time. This is just like an encyclopedia of that time. Oh God, what did I do? No, why? Are these pages sticking out? Don't do that. I love you. Don't do that. Nope. You get in there. You get in there. You be careful. There is one thing in here that really fascinates me. Let's see if I can get it. Where are you? There is like, a Woman's Day magazine or something like that, or newspaper, I should say, in here. Is this it? <gasps> no, it's not. What the fuck is this? What is this? Oh, whoa. It's like some kind of... It folds out. What? What? Fam, it folds out. Is this a fucking map? It's a fucking new plan of London, 1833 fucking map. Are you kidding me? I, I didn't even know this was in here. I've had this since like 2006. I didn't even know that was in here. Here it is. Here's what I was actually looking for. This is a copy of Woman's World from freaking Chicago, December 15th, 1886. Dude, can you tell? The kind of condition this is, I'm afraid to do anything with it. I don't want to unfold it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not going to. Like, holy shit, dude. So yeah, this is my precious. I've, oh, it's a plant section. There's health shit, foliage shit, food shit, all kinds of freaking information in here. The conversion of St. Paul. Like, are you kidding me? What the fuck? And this page is gratitude, what? Oh, it's like parts of the fucking Bible, but on this page looks like a fucking eyeball diaphragm. What? This thing is fascinating. I love it. Like I said, it's dusty as hell. Oh my God, I gotta wash my hands. I don't know where it's been. I only know that right now it is mine. It's mine, not yours, it's mine. Um, it's kind of worth nothing, <laughs> but it's fucking precious in my heart and my mind. And yeah, I'll probably do a video sometime where I peek into it a little bit and then it's never being touched again. You know what I mean? It's one of those. Yeah, if I have ever experienced a perk from a job before, that was it. I worked, I spent a decade in the video game industry. Never got to go to any like release parties or anything like that. I was usually one of the schlubs back at the office making sure that shit is okay at lunch that night, fam. So that's my perk for ever doing anything, any kind of job anywhere ever. I love that book. It has not seen the light of day in a minute. And next is music. Which format do you think has the best rhythm for reading? Whichever flows best for you. For me, I'm usually rocking a physical copy, um, but if I'm like driving or tearing my mom's front yard up, you know how I do, um, then yeah, I'm definitely listening to an audiobook. Um, some books are only available, like Kindle and stuff like that. I got those too. I read those too. I'm in the middle of one right now. Modern foreign languages. Recommend a translated book that you enjoyed. I've mentioned this one a few times before because this is my all-time favorite book and that's Narcissus and Goldman by Herman Hesse. He is my favorite author. I'm embarrassed to say that I went a very, 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 very long time mispronouncing his last name like a jackass. So like the Goodreads synopsis is Narcissus and Goldman tells the story of two medieval men whose characters are diametrically opposite. Narcissus, an ascetic monk firm in his religious commitment, 
and Goldmund, a romantic youth hungry for knowledge and worldly experience. First published in 1930, Hesse's novel remains a moving and pointed exploration of the conflict between the life of the spirit and the life of the flesh. It is a theme that transcends all time. I feel like every time I reread this story or just read it, generally speaking, um, I walk away with it with a different, completely different idea of it. You know what I mean? Um, and I've been very intrigued. This is one of those stories that I love seeing other like reviews and opinion, you know, thoughts and stuff because I tend to get surprised and I like that. Um, and that's just Herman Hesse's work for you. Right. So there are many, many reasons why he's my favorite and why this is my favorite story. So I think it's about time that I pick it up and reread it again. Cause I can and I love it. <laughs> and I highly recommend. Thank you again to Lady Jane for tagging me and being my first tag ever. And since Lady Jane is also one of my first couple of friends on YouTube, I'm going to tag my other first friend on YouTube, David, over at David's Book Reviews. You probably already know who he is, but if you don't, he's a great guy and I highly recommend you check out his channel. He is very, very supportive of everyone in the booktube community and he deserves to be known. I can't wait to see his responses to these as well. I already checked to make sure he hasn't done it and I don't think so or I'm a jackass. Feel free to call me a jackass. <laughs> and thank you for putting up with my babble again. You do it so well. I love you. <laughs> Until next time and beyond, please take care and I will try as well. <laughs>